I'm Dr Jeremy Everest of the British Geological Survey and I'm working here as part of a team of BGS scientists uh, looking at the 4D modelling of glacier surface and foreland evolution. Right, what we're, what we're looking at is the glacier foreland of, of Verkisjokl and um, the LiDAR model shows us this fantastic ridge which we're about to fly along there towards this is the glacier snout here, the white area at the back but what we're looking at here is this long, sinuous, quite tall, it's 20 metres high from base to, to crest here. This is uh, uh, an esker, actually in formation. And um, we're very, very fortunate to be able to look at this. It's, it's a function of our going there pretty much every year. Um, very few people have been able to watch an esker forming. To be able to see this in formation, to see the landforms changing year on year is very, very important scientifically. Um, it gives us an opportunity to bang loads of papers out, hopefully, and, um, but really see how climate change affects a glacier margin and its, and its evolving fallen. What we can see is a, a very high resolution digital elevation model of Verkisjokl glacier and its fallen area. Uh, and essentially what we've done is we've taken a, a machine called a terrestrial LiDAR uh, and we've scanned the, uh, the foreland and the, the margin of the glacier and we're going to be going back uh, year on year to see how both of those change. The amount of lowering of the land surface, the amount of uh, thinning of the glacier, the amount of retreat of the glacier gives us some idea of the volume of ice lost, the volume of ice that's melted in this landscape over the period of a year. And so by comparing that with the weather data that we're collecting, we can actually identify you know, the drivers in the climate that are forcing these changes in the glacier. The other thing that we're, we're obviously you know, very interested in at the moment is the volcanics in Iceland uh, and how these affect you know, where we fly, uh, what our crops are doing, all that sort of uh, information that we need. Um, this glacier itself drains uh, from one, the largest volcano in Iceland. Uh, it's an order of magnitude bigger than the Eyjafjallajökull eruption that was uh, so big in the news a few months back. Um, and what we're trying to do on top of repeat scanning for, for LiDAR and installing a second weather station is we're installing a seismic network. Um, this is a volcano that has uh, a very sparse seismic network distributed around it. I think there's two sensors within 30 kilometers. Um, so we're adding to the Icelanders seismic network by giving them information on what's going on beneath this volcano as well. And there's the glacier coming down from Arafiakul, the highest point in Iceland. Myself and Tom Bradwell have been visiting this glacier since 1996. And in that time, uh, we think it's probably retreated 700 to 800 metres. We're basically looking at a glacier in, in rapid decline. We're probably looking at about 10 years before it finally you know, gets cut off from its supply area, its accumulation area, uh, and starts to die. In 50 years' time, most of the outlet glaciers in Iceland will either be gone or will be dying. If you extrapolate that across the globe, um, you know, I've done some work in Antarctica and you can see that you know, ice sheets and glaciers are obviously re retreating there very rapidly. Um, it's it's going to be a, a very difficult time for the next 100 or so years while we cope with these changes. We've started producing data already. Uh, we did a, a full survey last summer. Uh, we're writing up a paper from that. Uh, we're sharing our data with the Icelandic Meteorological Office and the Icelandic Institute of Earth Science. Um, we're hopefully going to be making all of our meteorological data available, freely downloadable through the, the BGS website. Um, so we hope that anybody interested in, in glacier climate will be able to use this data um, you know, compare it with data they have themselves or, or intend to collect. So it's going to be distributed as widely as we can.